Welcome everyone. In this session, we'll tell you about the robot from web page. Here we have a React.js web page and we have a ROS bridge server which gets the input from web page and it converts into ROS2 interface. Micro ROS agent which connects to the microcontroller. We have we are going to use a Pico, Raspberry Pi Pico, and which has a platform IO and micro ROS. We have to install the platform IO. Um, here we have uh, steps to install the platform I as well as uh, we have a plugin extension for the VS code um, So here we can go to the extension if you type platform it will show the platform I ID so that we have to install Once we have installed the extension you can see the symbol platform I symbol Once you click you can have option to create a new project and you can select the new project or you can import the existing one so we'll go with the new project and you have to give the project name and we can select the board once you have selected the framework for the board it will be in here and you can mention the uh, location as well or you can use the default one so once you finish this one it will create uh, all the folder structures so once you created the project you will see uh, the folder structure like this and we'll have a platform IO uh, file which has all the like what are the um, board and framework and these details we have to give uh, library dependence we have to give the platform IO link main.cpp this is the file we are going to create a subscriber and will send a uh, signals to the motor we'll go through the code here so we are creating a subscriber and the test message and um, so we are uh, defining all the pins this is for a motor pin as well as this for a pwm so first we'll go to the setup method so in this method we'll uh, initialize the value so here we'll uh, these are the pins or output pins uh, so we'll uh, define that one and we'll uh, initiate the node and we'll create a uh, publisher we are this is a default one um, so this is a subscriber we are creating to subscribe to the cmd well topic and we'll assign the callback as well for this subscriber this is a callback so we are defined here so once we get the message in the CMD well topic, uh, this uh, callback will be called. So this is the callback, and um, we'll get the message and we'll um, check for the linear x position and the angular z position. So based on that values, uh, we'll perform either forward or backward, left or right. Um, it's uh, we will give the signals to the motor. So in the motor one, actually. Um, so this is the this method we, it gets two uh, parameters one is for move indicator whether it's a forward or backward the pwm it, it has to slow or a high speed um, then stop method okay once um, once you have co complete the code um, we'll connect the board in the usb drive as well as uh, we'll go to this platform IO we have option to build so if you click build it will uh, build the code okay it is done uh, once you click the upload button it will upload to the microcontroller okay code is uploaded to the microcontroller so once you have uploaded the code to the microcontroller we have to use the micros agent to connect the board so here we have um, we can install in your local or we can uh, use the docker option so i'll be using this docker uh, command so and we'll uh, replace this board with um, port And I'm mentioning this is the port for the uh, day one. So it started now. Uh, 
uh, it's uh, Microsoft Agent started and it is connected to the board. Okay, so now I am disconnecting and I again connected the board. So now it is now we are able to see all the topics which is running in the microcontroller. From front end, we'll be using a React Joystick component and we'll start the front end. So here we have a Joystick component here. We will use raw slip JS to capture the uh, joystick action and send the details accordingly. So here we have a joystick one. So we need to start the ROS bridge to send the details from uh, web page to the uh, ROS2 system. We'll start the ROS bridge server. Okay, now it is connected to the front end. So we'll um, echo this topic command well and so if I'm moving the joystick uh, it will you will get the test message here then uh, this test message will directly send to the uh, microcontroller through uh, micros agent then uh, microcontroller will perform the action based on the um, linear X and angular Z position uh, we'll see the demo here. 